Welcome everyone, TJ here with another video. This time we're discussing the blind barbarian leveling, at least in my opinion, what is good for leveling as a blind barbarian. Um, generally speaking, with the way the class is structured and the way Diablo is played, even with no vision at all, um, the skills are fairly universal, even between sighted and blind users. Um, but I'll explain some of the mentality or reasoning behind the choices I've personally picked. Um, there's are There are other barbs who... You know, may pick what else they want, but you know, as far as I'm concerned, this is working for me, um, and I'm enjoying it. So, uh, for context, real quick, those on Twitch who are joining or watching afterward on YouTube, um, just felt like doing this video. Um, if you guys hear any TTS, that's probably chat on Twitch. So we'll see. So, <coughs> so as far as I'm concerned, the only two viable. Okay, three viable basic skills are Frenzy, Lunging Strike, and Flay. Flay is primarily for build, uh, bleed builds, but Frenzy can be decent. Um, it gives you attack speed, um, uh, stacking attack speed, and the option of either damage reduction per stack, which is actually very useful early game, or every skill turns into adds attack speed. So let's say like 60% attack speed for uh, Frenzy, but this also applies to like Hammer the Ancients or whatever the skill you're going for. Um, I think overall Frenzy is really good. I, I quite enjoy it as a basic. Um, Bash, don't really care. Flay, I haven't really put much time into it. I don't, I don't, I haven't done a bleed build. But Lending Strike, this is where it's at. It's essentially a short range teleport for the Barbarian. Um, so it's like a micro lock on teleport over, you know, slash. Um, the Enhanced actually does 30% more damage to healthy targets, which is nice. But the big thing is the heal. You actually, if you, if you find healthy targets around you, you use them to heal a little bit. And then the main enhancement I go for is critical strikes give you berserk. Berserk uh, lets you do 15% more movement speed and 25% more damage. I'm not sure if it's multiplicative or additive. Sorry, got distracted. So yeah, so I'd recommend either Lending Strike or Frenzy. Out of the two, Lending Strike might be easier just for closing gaps and okay. keeping to enemies and bosses. Um, but Frenzy is actually really fun. Now, for core, as far as like a blind utility aspect, you're probably looking at Whirlwind, um, just because it hits everything around you. Um, but the problem is that you can't maintain the resource to keep Whirlwind going. Um, Hammer of the Ancients is pretty good once you get the aspect from the dungeon. There's an aspect that gives you AoE. It's pretty nice, pretty useful. Um, I think overall though, Rend might be the most efficient as far as uh, uh, essence, uh, fury per cast and just the raw damage. And here's the nice thing about it as well. Um, we can't necessarily see where the crowd controls are coming in. So let's say you rend an enemy and then they crowd control you so you're stuck. They're still taking damage because it's a bleed. Right? So um, that's a nice little perk from rend. Uh, upheaval upheaval I've, I have no real thoughts on. As far as I'm aware, it's a bit more of a ranged, like, cone, almost. Um, I guess it'll be okay. I just haven't messed with it. So, and Double Swing. Double Swing is the one that I think has potential. Um, if you can keep uh, knocking down or stunning enemies consistently, uh, you're essentially having infinite Double Swing, and they call it Proxy Vulnerable, and like, it just seems like a pretty good option. Um, I just haven't really put much time into it, considering I don't have a way to consistently stun or knock down right now. So, um, Rend is probably the easiest, or no, most efficient. Whirlwind might be the easiest, and then Double Swing is like my third pick for core for blind players. So, for defensive skills, you have Ground Stomp, which is nice, generates fury, stuns, cool, builds Stagger on a boss, nice, 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 and then you get. Uh, what is it called? Rallying Cry. Rallying Cry is interesting because it gives you movement speed and resource generation uh, percentage, like a just better resource generation, and unstoppable. The, the big thing is the unstoppable, um, which is pretty good if you don't have the legendary aspect that makes Iron Skin unstoppable. In my opinion, once you get the unstoppable for Iron Skin aspect, 
it kind of negates rallying cry, at least for now. Maybe, of course, later I'm sure I'll, I'll be pigeonholed held into into shouts. But right now I'm using Iron Skin um, because it is a barrier that gets stronger as you lose health, and it heals you for 10% um, every time you pop it. So let's say you're about to die, use it as a panic shield plus potion button. Um, so it's a very useful defensive skill in my opinion. Ground stop is useful as well. It just depends on the build and and if you're willing to uh, get extreme close and try and stick on things. I mean you have to with a barb, but um, ground stop is fun. It's one. It's it's a fun skill. Your your passives that are in this skill tree. The two that I can think of right now off the top of my head are. Uh, what is it called? Let's see. Imposing Presence. Uh, this is 5% max life, 10% max life, 15% max life, which is a pretty nice, pretty chunky uh, amount of health. And then Martial Vigor. This is damage reduction against elites. This one's actually pretty strong. If you combine these two, you're going to be fairly tanky. At least you should. Um, so overall, I'd, I'd recommend Iron Skin like, easily out of these three. Actives. Um, so your next skill tree is the Brawling. Oh, I, for I forgot about Jelly and Shell. Excuse me. And like all the Thorn stuff. Um, honestly, I don't care for Thorns, so there's that. But for Shell and Shell, the nice thing about it is it's a damage reduction on enemies around you instead of you trying to stack more damage reduction on yourself. So this kind of multiplies damage reduction onto enemies. And so it's actually more effective than stacking more st more defenses on you. It's actually more effective that way. And the enhancements, let's see what the enhancements say. I forgot. More life, thorns, and three fury. So I would probably go with the fury because that just helps passive fury generation whenever you shout it. Um, that one's actually pretty nice. So that 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 that'd be a pretty. I think I think out of the the three shouts, I think the two that I would run ideally would be um, war cry and challenging shout, and then get my unstoppable through iron skin. And then my other three abilities, right? Basic, core, and, and whatever else. We'll have to wait and see, though. So next should be Brawl. Um, honestly, I don't, uh, before I continue, the whole, like, Thorn stuff, I don't care for Thorns, so. Oh, here's Quick Impulses. This one's a pretty good one. Helps uh, reduce uh, crowd controls. So it has movement speed. Yeah, and the Brawling is okay. Um... Kick seems like a decent utility option. I've never really tested it, never really cared to. Um, charge, I tried when I had two different legendaries that buffed the damage, and charge just wasn't cutting it. Um, it is nice that Prox is vulnerable and gives you unstoppable. It's nice to have those, but it just wasn't cutting it. Like, I like I felt like it was a wasted skill slot. Um Plus, it's not very easy to use when you're blind. Like, you, like I don't know what the positioning is of the, sh the especially when you have the Ancients version. Um, I don't know how it's supposed to orientate, so I don't know how to use it properly. <laughs> leap is a good mobility one. However, you're limited by leap on controller. Uh, you don't get the full leap distance on controller. Um, but it can generate fury. It can help you like traverse map and like get over obstacles. It's pretty useful. Um, it is not a necessity in my opinion. 